Hey guys, welcome back to Ebbs and Flows, where we talk about the highs and lows on and off the field. Come back to my old stomping ground here in New Zealand, Wiles Nation, joined today by the Bald Brothers, D Walks, Jesse Tavang. What's up, boys? What's up, what's up? What's up, bro? Oh, this judge put straight into it, Curtis. Curtis Scott's talking. He's calling you out. Curtis Scott's called you out. Obviously, you guys got a bit of history there with the fight on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, right, yeah. bro, bl- let's be honest, he's blindsided you online. Yeah, he's uh, sort of, he's, uh, yeah, he's got me. Um, I don't know. I, sort of got, I, got a, I got a sent to me last night. Um, I'm a father of two, so, you know, things have changed back in the, back in the day to what I am now, but... Look, if they want the money, if they've got the money and they want to make the fight happen, you know where I am and I'm, re- I'm ready to rock and roll. So you're ready to go? Oh, we are. <laughs> not straight away, but I, yeah, by the end of next year. <laughs> uh, this year, sorry. I wouldn't mind. Um, obviously, you've never been shied away from from a, like a fight or a punch on. It's something that boxing, does boxing interest you? Nah, not really. Not really. Nah, it doesn't. Like I, I like the training aspect of it. Um, but yeah, I guess when you get caught out. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta front it up, eh? You gotta front it up. You can't take. Just a, tell him, bro. He's a dog. No. I can't. I can't backward step it. But um, yeah, if he wants to have a crack and they make the money right, then yeah, I'll hop in the room. What's the right money? Hundred k. Fuck. No one's paying that, lad. <laughs> oh, I don't for? know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a cheapo. I'm not a cheapo. Oh, Jazz. Jazz reckons he'll do it for free then. Yeah, you'll fight for free, eh? Okay. Well, I was. Yeah, sort of, I was, it didn't piss me off, but I was just like, Jazz he one. told me he had a bail from in in Sydney, and then um. The way I was carrying on on socials, I was like, uh, true. Is it, is it, any, no, I didn't really some drama me. like real drama though? Like, I know, like, if you no, nah, I reckon it's a payday, yeah, yeah, it's, payday. it's like in their best interest yeah. to pump it up, to yeah, 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 make well, it the, better. The way he was talking online compared to what he was talking to him in person, I didn't find it that bad, but I saw to be honest, no, nah, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, Oh, if he wants to get square, you yeah, know, it was in a respectful way. I but, like, the, um, I like yeah. how sort of Nelson's moving, eh? Like, he goes, Oh, anyone that's had an issue with me on the field, mm. like, can fight me. But he's calling out guys like Victor Radley, and there's like a very, there's <laughs> a massive, massive side to <laughs> Did him and Jared ever go? Yeah, I interviewed Jared about Are they that. boys, though? Yeah, yeah. But Jared was just keen, um, just to have a like a scrap, eh? Like, he just wanted to like test himself. And I was like, Oh, that's that's actually mad. And like what, like a boxing or just a scrap? Oh no, just like <laughs> just boxing. Oh, oh, oh. Right, but he got he got clipped straight away, and then um, like he was stumbling, and he thought he goes, "No, no, I've just lost my footing." And the ref's like, "No, no, he got ya." So, <laughs> where did they, where did he box? Yeah, they they fought. Um, I interviewed maybe uh, straight after the footy season. They had a fight. Yeah, Nelson and Jared. Uh, Jared, oh, we're hug. Oh, fuck, I was with Jared Wallace. Oh, Jared oh, Wallace. I nah. thought you were talking about Jared. Uh, Jared yeah. Nah, yeah. yeah, he got hurt. He got yeah. hurt, but he did well to. Stay in the fight. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, hard. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see Jared fight. No, I thought because Jared Har- Hargraves and Nelson, like they're always, you know, butt heads, but I don't know if they're boys, like because they play Kiwis and stuff. Yeah, that's just the two alphas in the yeah, team yeah, going yeah. at it, you know what I mean? It'll be like Adam going yeah. at everyone. Yeah, Jad, Adam. Nah, Jazz reckons he's a boxer. Nah, man. He's always shadow boxing in the shit. <laughs> yes, you are. He's going to boxing classes on the Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie, boy. Don't yeah, shy I'm, away. Nah. <laughs> I can't, I can't fight for you. You like you you, like, you love the niggle though, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Shoot fight, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I don't like fighting. Can't fight. Um, I, I remember I put up a post on YKTR Sports and it was like this moldy coach, and he was spraying all the young boys and he's like, "Well, put your hand up if you can tackle." And I remember you commented <laughs> on it. And go, that was my dad. <laughs> but the question I want to ask you is like, um, obviously you're not the biggest dude, but you never back away from things. Mm. Is that a product of upbringing? Is that a product of coming from South uh, Auckland? Like, where, where's the chip on the shoulder come from? Yeah, I think that's, yeah, a bit of, bit of everything. Like, I grew up in Papakura. Um, I was never good at running the ball. I was always good at tackling them because I was always the smallest out of my mates. Everyone tend to run at me. So, um, yeah, right from a young age, my old man had me out there practicing tackling. Um, and then, yeah, just being brought up in, I guess, South Auckland, everyone has a bit of, you know, manga on them. Um, yeah, me and James Bell, we used to go out at, at school. Um, he was another small fella too. So, yep. um, yeah, just, yeah, where we grew up, I guess. I um, mean, talking about boxing, is there anyone in, in the league that you would like? No, to fight? not anyone I'd want to fight. I wanted to fight. Um, Here's your chance. They were brown ages ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes um, sense. To me, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they're both so, similar. Yeah, yeah. Pretty similar. But, yeah. like, I don't have any beef with him or, or anyone. Um, but I'd just love to fight and get paid. Um, it's something I'll, I'd like to do, obviously, mm. um, get in the ring because I like the idea that it's just you in there. Mm. You don't have your team to, 
have your, you know, have your back and whatnot. So I'll be keen to have a bang. Yeah, in saying that, I would. I reckon that's. I'll fight walks. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> in saying that, I reckon that's pretty cool. But like, fuck, putting your balls on the line. Yeah, you know, chucking it out there, Freddie. I remember when all the boys were laughing at Freddie when he got twisted. Who was by Talon May? Mm. Or was it Talon? Yeah. Mate? Tell yeah, tell him. Yeah, tell, tell him, him mate. Fight too, eh? Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, fuck, but just having the balls to go yeah, out there yeah, and have a crack. Respect, yeah. You got to respect I want to see Ed's fight. I've seen him sparring that a couple of times. Bro, I oh, has got hands. Yeah. We were at Manly together and yeah. like we, we had a wild fucking cup side and, and like um he was part of that. But him and Willis used to <laughs> oh, throw, oh, throw yeah, yeah. hands and Carly was our, one of our trainers. So whenever the boys were injured, he was a rehab trainer. <laughs> <laughs> and he just have the boys boxing, bro. Like like you said, like when you watch him on the pads and you hear that, that mm. boom. Willis was different. Yeah, he was scary. Bro, you know Willis how was scary. I like a bit of niggle. I knew who Willis was and what he could do. And we played twenties. And then no. um I've gone to like kick pressure, turned around, and someone just bumped me in the back. I've turned around, I'm like, who the fuck was that? And then Willis goes, What are you gonna do? And I went, <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky, bro. <laughs> Those running away ones, eh? Like, yeah, I'll get you. Discipline now. <laughs> we were Willis, yeah. He's yeah, he's, he's a scary, he's a scary man. man. Yeah. That bro, they um I remember one time we were out, um, this was before. Like he stopped drinking and stuff. And he's like, bro, I haven't drunk in like eight weeks or nine weeks. And we went to the wharf, bro, and he, he ordered like eight vodka lime sodas. Like, oh, sweet. He's just getting around for the table, bro. I had one, bro. He smacked the other like six or seven <laughs> straight away. <laughs> like, oh, let's just go Casablanca. And I was like, bro, you're in a football jersey and thongs. You won't get in. Bro, boom, straight up the front. Like his, his godfather was the yeah, guy who ran bouncer, it. Yeah. And all the bouncers scared of him. So yeah, he just yeah. walk in, let me in. Like, yeah, oh, Willis, Willis, Willis. <laughs> Wait, I'm behind him. Yeah, 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 I'm gangster. <laughs> <laughs> With the shoulders up. Right. Man, I remember Willis, but he was, when because uh, we were in the same school, he was just totally different. Like, just never drunk. He wouldn't even drink lemon, lime, bitters. Because they had like that, you know, he was real churchy, his old man, yeah. Carly, and just how he was raised. But I don't know, I think he um his first drink was with actually Adam. <laughs> Crafted Those two him. together. Oh, that'll be a dangerous party. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I we, we had a cup side one time, and it was like the pack was like um, Adam, Liam Knight, um, w- Willis, and Jamal. Jamil. <laughs> 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 I was like, man, this is a naughty yeah, yeah. And they're all just trying to get into fights too because they're like, our team yeah. wasn't that great. So it was a bit of a giggle. All right, boys, let's talk about obviously uh, Warriors, aka the Waz. Um, been a bit of a vibe over here. It's been cool to watch. Like, obviously, I come through the club, and at the time when I was here, we had, we had really good success with 20s teams, and uh, our NRL sides were making finals every year. It's back, and you guys are a big part of that. What's it been like, bro? Yeah, I think it's it's been mean. Uh, obviously, I've been here my whole career, and um, we haven't had too many good years since I've been <laughs> But the boys come over and uh, change the club, eh? Hey, hey walks. that's what he yeah, likes to say. Different some um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the buzz was, was, was mean. Um, just every home game, you know, was sold out. Even walking the streets, everyone's doing the up the wash. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a tough year for myself personally, but to watch the boys and what they could do last year, I was, yeah, yeah something to watch. Yeah, was that, was that sort of frustrating, sort of understanding like, like you've gone through that period of struggle, now we're starting to fly, and you're sort of in and out through yeah. injuries and shit like that. It must have been yeah, hundred percent. You know what rehab's like. You know, you sort of feel isolated and by yourself. All the boys are having fun, and you're like on the side <laughs> doing shit. Like doing doing rehab rehab day, like over, going, you're like, boys, what was the jangle? Was jazz, there, jazz, jazz, <laughs> yeah, the jazz reckons you like every time. Like we was laughing, he was like, oh, you guys don't respect me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys forget about me. Eh? <laughs> no, <forgot about me. laughs> nah, but yeah, it was definitely tough, bro. And um, just watching them, you know, even just play it at home, win and. And they just wanted to be a part of it. Yeah. Uh, wanted to be a part of the success. And, um, you know, it was it was cool to watch, but it definitely hurt, like, not being out there. What about you, Walks? You've come through uh, a couple of clubs now where uh, probably South was a better reference of, like, mm. a diehard fan base. Yeah, like, yeah. Manly's a little bit different, like, they're yeah, with you or they're yeah. not, you know what I mean? But what was it like comparing someone like the Warriors fan base to yeah, someone yeah. like South Sydney? Um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's similar in ways. Uh, because yeah, they sort of had to sit through the struggle, um, especially the Wise fans. I reckon, you know, when we were winning games, they were turning up and selling out the stadium, and, which is cool. But, um, you know, we've, we, was, we were doing some video and watching some old clips back in 2019 <laughs> or 20, and the boys freaking uh, pause it here, and then looking at the stands, it was about, I reckon, two or 300 people in the stands. Um, and they, gave, they, went, always, they weren't always here, boys. But um, I think it's just the appreciation of what <laughs> Ashley Webby sort of brought um, you know, and part of that was just, you know, 
just the real detailed game plan and and everyone bought in straight away. And we're having a joke about it today where, you know, I think it was Wado, Sean and I, and we're saying that he was like, trust me, you're going to believe it in a few months time. What we're doing is going to be right. And it's sort of hard to sort of grasp of like, is it actually going to happen or is it just going to be in another one of those years? And then, you know, as soon as the, I think it was that Cronulla game, I think that's where the sense of belief and confidence sort of grew within the squad and, um, I thought every time we went out in that football field, it wasn't, oh, we're going to, I hope we win. It was a, no, nah, we're going to win. Mm. And we we're always in it. And I think that was the attitude and everything that we we're doing within certain details of the drill and what Webby and the assistant coaches have been doing with us. It sort of just translated straight into, you know, training into the games. And it was real cool to see a player, you know, as a player, you sort of see it come together um, as clear. And, you know, when you're young and when I was at South, it was very, I was a young guy. So I was just following the lead off the, the older boys and sort of, you're oblivious to all those things. But then yeah, actually, sure. well, yeah, when you get older, um, you know, it's just seeing what we did last year was, it was real rewarding. And, you know, I think um, it was just a, a little taste of what we want to do. Mm. Um, I was out at Pinnacle last week <clears> and I was talking to Ivan and he was always sort of my head coach and I go what's like the big difference that that you've noticed over like past 10 years and you've been in the game for 10 yeah. years now um, and he goes we just leave nothing to chance anymore in terms of preparation and nickel clocks that <laughs> <laughs> but, and I, I thought it was such a good point and now what you guys played yeah. last year and obviously Webster's come from that system yeah. and even like I was watching some of your guys trials and I know like that first Tigers trial yeah, yeah. and I'm like oh something like a little bit different, different there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then obviously I'm a Roosters fan as well and I, I come out early I'm like oh the boys got four preseason games <laughs> yeah, yeah I know, I, know. <laughs> we got, we got I think we all talk about the shirts <laughs> this guy forgot where he come from <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, that was the big difference was the fence eh? like yeah. you know the worries of old you know, teams will just have that mentality. I like, stay in the game because the boys They'll will crack. Out. Yeah. But just last year, like we very rarely crack. You know, and when the times got tough, someone was always there. Someone was always turning up, and guys were getting their job done. Like Shawnee, for once, the bro was making his tackles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my boy, man. Yeah. But he was stepping in, hitting, and I was like, "Have you seen this?" Yeah, thing? I think it was. <laughs> yeah. no, it was good. Just the whole club. It was. Just, we we spoke about it even with the whole organization. It was just. It was a chance for just a whole brand new book. You re rewrite the script and, you know, everyone bought in straight away. And Webby is like one of those guys where he, he was, he's real detailed about his work, but he's also, he, he allows you to be yourself and, you know, have a joke and he's real cool like that. But mm. just having that as a, a head coach and it sort of filters down to, you know, the old players and to the younger boys, everyone sort of just bought in and it was, it was cool to see. Like it was very logical. What he was, the way he was thinking was logically clear to everyone and so, how he explained it. I, I know he's a head coach, but what area of the game does he look after or does he just oversee everything and delegate the rest out? I reckon, yeah, yeah I reckon he oversees everything mm. and, and does it, but he, yeah, he just, he's real smart in the detail. It's not so much, oh, oh, you could have done this. He lives in the gray. It's not black and white. He lives in the gray. So that's an Ivan reference too. He loves that. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, Oh, okay, that's where it comes from, man. <laughs> he, he was claiming it was him, mate. He was claiming it, man. Because it's um, a great game. Yeah, yeah. So where, where Desi is very black and white. He's like, nah, you got to do this. But Madge was different. Madge was, to me, that's where he was saying, he was like, if you you go up and you make the decision in defense, if we're going to use um, that as reference. But yeah, it was very gray, but it was on you. If you were going to jam, you have to stop it. I, I, yeah, I remember. The, I remember this um, when you first come to Manly because you arrived a little bit late, mm. and we'll do an edge drill. And we had um, Sebes as our coach, and yeah, he came yeah. from Melbourne, who was really black and white. Yeah, yeah. And like same as you, I'd come from a, where where we were allowed to make a decision. Great, yeah, in yeah. Great. And I remember a video session, and you made the right read, but because you didn't tick off his checklist, it yeah, yeah. was classed as wrong. Yeah, yeah. In my mind, I was going, "What? That's weird. Yeah. yeah." To me, that's yeah. weird. He goes, "No, nah, defense is black and white." If if they like throw like score a try, we can clap them and they beat us. Yeah, but yeah. there was no room nah. for grey, and yeah. I'd come from a different system, so it was, it was interesting to hear the like. Yeah, the it's um, yeah, but I think that's spot on. I and think. I remember what you said, but you're like, oh, like I felt it. Like, yeah. yeah, you take the footy away from the actual footballer. I think it's that's a we talk about footy players and how robotic it, they can be. And look, don't get me wrong, some people need checklists and need points to sort of understand the game, but. Uh, when you go too much into detail and saying black and white, I reckon you lose the footballer 
in the actual football. Yeah. And so what's the balance now between structure and, and like sort of ad lib football for you boys now? Because I was watching your tries and obviously mm. beautiful watching Dallin go down the side. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys are walking tries over. You're almost like what selfs are where like your shape is so good. What's the balance between that type of shape and then the natural football that we grew up playing in New Zealand, yeah, offloading yeah. and stuff? Do yeah. they talk about that? Yeah, yeah. well, we play off QZ, eh? so we're all, we're all about momentum, mm. eh? build momentum, keep it. And then when we get to a spot, we have certain cues, you know, if they stack the short side, then we come to the open. If yep. they're short on the short side, then, you know, we played it that way. And um, Walks can talk more about this because I'm usually just a bashing crash. <laughs> <laughs> Talking like we a had, We shit. had a little love yeah, so the other to the day. Short side, yeah. <laughs> hot, hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Um, no, nah, yeah, I think, yeah, like he said, it was all momentum and cues. Um, but I think it's just a reliable game plan what Webby sort of likes to use We've, especially with Sean because he's, he's always got the spine in that's I think you know the 13, 6, 9 and the 1 and 7 obviously and um, we sort of just come up with a game plan what what we sort of want and um, it's pretty cool to see because it's Webby's all for it like go out like not out of the shape but like our plays work within the shape yeah. Um, I, and I think shapes make your looks more predictable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you yeah. throw a shape and you get a hair, you kind of know what's going to be coming. Yeah, so yeah. you can make your football instinct read off. Yeah, the back yeah. Of that. So I think because we, we we weren't a really big offload team last year. No. Yeah, we were sort of going off cues, but um, you look at Bronx, who yeah, they, killed, know, they, they killed they killed us with the offloads and see how much damage that can work. But um, I think. Oh, Penrith is they're the benchmark so you sort of look at their shape and we sort of play similar styles Yeah, very it's similar. just the way it looks and it's it's easy because you get you know your best players like Shawnee Chance um, those your best players with the hands me. and ball me helps them <laughs> yeah. banger too yeah banger's for another yeah. little reason and walks <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, you're right. yeah, nah, yeah. but I think we um yeah just the little combinations that we worked on during the year um, I think Big Ad scored like 13 tries during the year. So. Silky, hey. Man, yeah, silky, yeah, bro. Big, yeah, he scored heaves. All off the back of me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think we're going to Sorry, just to swing this conversation back a little bit, and oh, fuck, I was going to sound like I keep talking about Ivan, but he was always big on having certain personalities in the room. And I see you guys, and I'm looking from the outside in, and I look at you guys' social media, you guys look like you two are the energy, and they have that out in Penrith with, with their boys who mm-hmm. do it in their way. Um, is that something that's encouraged, or is that something that just comes natural to you, or is that something mm-hmm. that comes natural and the coach is going, fuck? He's I'm, not going to stop. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, it just sort of happened there. Like, I don't know. Yeah, when you sort of – we sort of play similar. Like, when we're in the middle, we're a bit smaller, we're a yeah. bit faster. I don't know. The energy. I don't know. Well, it's just – the water one. <laughs> <laughs> no, then I, shaved, no, no, no. Then I ended up shaving my head and I said, Oh, to yeah, no, nah, so yeah. Is that, that when that I come back from story. injury, you got to shave your head? Yeah. And yeah. he goes, Yes, yeah, sweet. So when I came back, shaved our head and then we got put on at the, sort of the same, same time, time, Townsville, and it like clicked straight away. Yeah. Well, he and scored think, straight away off the back of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, actually. What was your try since last year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was like 10, 20. <laughs> 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 no, I think, um, no, yeah, I think it's just naturally, it's just how it's sort of gone, to be honest. Um, yeah. You know, you get, Different personalities and everyone has their their fitting in, um, you know, in a group like that in a squad. And um, I know we're we're out there top guys, but um, yeah. throwing ads as well. He's he's a crack up. Yeah. Yeah. You would know if you go. He's a crew. Us, yeah. yeah, it's all crew. So <laughs> try to get ads on the board, brother. Too, but he loves his fade too much. The lad. Yeah, but bro, you sure? I, I was talking to like someone the other day about it and like so how much the middle has changed compared to let's say like 10, yeah, 15 yeah. years ago where everyone was kind of like the big Jared build. Like yeah. that was like the dream, you know, you got Napa, you got Klima, Sam Petro. Cassiano. Yeah, it's Cam <laughs> Cassiano. Like, um, and like I think that style of Ford is starting to move out a, a bit because you want guys who are like kind of like you guys, like strong through the body but quick in the legs and pass yeah, and yeah. versatile. It's, and, um, yeah, especially it's when cool. you play off tempo with guys of Shawnee yeah, who yeah. can go like double drop and if you guys come onto the ball, you don't need momentum. You can get you can get meters in, in other ways through mm. late feed or post contact. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. been crazy to see, isn't it? It's yeah, it's the game's it's, so fast now, bro. And it's you, you got to be really fit and to be just one dimensional like those big guys. You know the game's so evolved now. Like Ed's, look at him; he's big, but he's fit. He's, he's got strim, feet. Bro. And he's yeah. strong, bro. He's yeah. got feet too, man. Feet of doom, he's and feet. he's got skill too. So yeah. it's like. You gotta evolve, bro. You he's a footballer that down. people don't know. Oh, yeah. As is a footballer, he yeah. he gets it. He's um. He's not all looks, the bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gets it. He gets football. He um, 
he understands the game while we work to a certain point. So, yeah, I think it's just. And you kind of need that leader in the pack too, like, you, like especially in the Islander boys, man, like you, you're not going to answer back to him too. You know no. what I mean? He's got that that amount of respect, yeah. not only within the club but around the league. And I used to think about this when we played South. It's like you need a guy who's like the leader of the pack and when you just run out ANZ and, and you watch like GI walk yeah, out, Sam yeah. Burgess is straight behind him. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. And I, was, I was about 10 boys back behind them. I'm going, hey. You and Kira saw me just shouting, yeah, just, just running past them. Uh, they forgot, eh? Forgot about the... <laughs> uh, um, bro, the 14 position, obviously you picked up a ward there in the, in the Dallium. It's, it's a horses for courses sort of type of position now. And you'll probably, uh, if someone asked me, what's, what's the ideal 14? And I said, you. What's it like moving into that position? No, nah, I enjoy it, bro. Yeah. Um, everyone reckons it's like, oh, you can cover anywhere. But I sort of see it as just... I don't know. I've been playing in the middle, man. Like, if you need me at half, then, like, I get that. But I think the first port of call, that's when Webby sort of um, got announced as coach. He gave me a call and he's like, oh, I just wanted, I want you to do exactly what you're doing at Manly. And I was like, yeah, done. And yeah. how that sort of come around was funny, too, because I remember I, did, I was playing fullback <laughs> in 2021. 20, <clears throat> and we were getting smoked for about 40, 40 nil for the last four weeks. They're like, oh, do you think it's a. Uh, you in the fullback? I was like, what do you mean, man? I'm pushing the numbers. Turbo's not going to do a 100-point swing game. And then I got injured. He comes straight back in and the boys were winning for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so when I come back, Desi was like, oh, you know, the boys are going, well, where, where, where are we going to put you? And I was like, oh, put me in like lock. I'll, I'll play lock. And he goes, oh, you reckon? I was like, well, who are we playing this week? And he goes, Cowboys. I was like, oh, maybe it's just about 10 minutes, eh? <laughs> Jordan McLean going Hess, Tom Lolo, my first three tackles. I was running back and I'm <laughs> straight on my horn just going, the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's sort of how it developed. And um, I don't know, just sort of seeing it. Uh, played a bit in the halves. So I don't know, just sort of running shape through the middle. It sort of helps. Either. It yeah. was just, yeah. It's kind, of, it's kind of like you've got all the good pieces from playing center. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Fullback. You probably can see things that. You know who was, you know who was actually the first person to ever like sort of say that he thought a position was Reynolds back in 2013. Reynolds? He goes, I reckon um, you'd be a mad lock. He even said it to Madge. And he's like, nah, he's a center through and through. Yeah. And then, yeah, sort of just developed it. It always kept it in the back of my mind. I was like, oh, maybe he was right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving him his flowers, um, the Red Dog. So. Um, yeah, developed it and I, yeah, I enjoy it. How, how, how do you find the balance between ball playing and, and running the ball? Cause that's always a hard one. Isn't yeah, it? no, I think it's, um, yeah, as a half, you always want to thread people through the hole or play at the you back and play. Yeah. Yeah. You'd rather set one up, but then I think it's just, um, that's what I'm probably working out this preseason is just finding a, a momentum play instead of trying to bit the big play. And is that like a back of Adam type? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the way you get it. You get it. Yeah. You go. Tip adding in on a fade line into a four man. Yeah, two middles wrap around the short side. All right, yeah, <laughs> straight. Give me one down the middle. If there's a hooker, give me one down the middle. <laughs> um, yeah, calling but hot. yeah, yeah. Well, you got Jazz calling hot when you've got fucking seven people in the open. <laughs> Are you that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah fuck. Had a touch on I was calling. trying to go, go, crash, crash. He goes, nah, drain, drain. He's looking in the drain. There's fucking seven defenders in front of him. Um, um, but yeah, I think that forwarding position is so cool now because you can mm. play it in so many ways. Yeah. And like when you were playing, you're like the 39 sort of version. And now it's expansive out of the football. It's mm. a pretty important position, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I every team's got a good, like, you know, bench, oh. bench player eh, that sort of changes the momentum. Like Penrith had Spencer, like when he came on off the bench, eh, it was like Kamikaze. Yeah, it's just I feel like you need that guy. That's yeah, hat, you know. Yeah, like, you I don't think you got like a bit of that in you. You know, like, <laughs> and, 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 no, Adam's got it in as well. Like if if something goes down, nah, it's Barney, Mitch Barnett. He's there. He's, he's tapped. He's, yeah, he's tapped. <laughs> but he's tapped. Barney's tapped. Yeah, Barney's yeah. tapped. He's 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 a yeah. He's a. I'm glad he's a they dog. came there because you know when I back in the day, a couple of years ago. We had no big dogs in our team, and our team just used to get bullied, bro. Like mm -hmm. every team has you know, a big alpha dog here, like Storm here. <laughs> Brom Merchant, Nelson, Roosters had Jared, Jared yeah. and Victor Radley. And, and then our team, we had bangers. <laughs> bangers is like not mongrel at all. <laughs> no, no. He's so the most teams are picking on, I'm like, the only one that has to be keen to get in there and always get in trouble. 
<laughs> Simbin or some shit. Yeah. yeah. No, it's yeah. a good balance, actually. But yeah, now yeah, I'll, I'll just stand behind Barney and Ed and go, yeah, yeah, fucking get him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can't, you, can't have, you can't have too much of him, though, because nah, right? nah, it swings yeah. the other way. You know? Yeah, I don't think, well, I don't see. What are Bar- the right balances? Yeah, Barney, Barney's more there. Great. Like, I don't, he just looks scary. And I think people would like, he, knows he doesn't have to say too much for people well, to be no like, no one's oh, going to try and mess with him. Yeah, yeah that's Mose, a big one. When Moses was going at him last year, I just looked and I was like, nope. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're going to have a go. I don't know, but he's pretty fat. He's HK too. Yeah, yeah, he's solid. Yeah, okay. Um, so, obviously, you guys aren't a surprise. Everyone's got expectation of you guys. You guys have got mm. expectations of yourself. Mm. There's not many teams. That you guys, Actually, you guys are the only team that have uh, got a weight of a country on your shoulders or they can either lift you up. How, how, do you, <clears throat> how are you guys dealing with that expectation this year? Because uh, to be honest, like, and I've been a part of this club before, yeah. mm. I feel like Warriors always handle expectation the greatest. Yeah, I think – um. I don't know, when we were saying it before, what, how Webby sort of said, trust me, in six months we're going to be thinking like this. It's just this year, knowing that, you know, last year is not good enough, but just having that mindset for us to go into a preseason uh, with the same similar squad and then you get Rog coming back as well um, makes it very exciting. Makes mm. it, um, you believe, your belief comes in a lot more into context when you're explaining things because we hit the ground running instead of like learning a whole new system, whole new process. Um, and then when you add in someone like Rog who's been here but went out for a few years in the game, but you can just see how, how silky he is, man. His head just, just <laughs> snapping off the left foot. And I think, yeah, just the leadership, I think, within the whole group, like, you know, bangers, Barney, ads, jazz, Gets in there, mate, Rog. Um, just how they just all explain it and what we expect from each other is pretty. It's pretty high standard at yeah. the moment, and <clears throat> you know we, you know, you can't be your best all the time. But then, when you're feeling down, we allow ourselves to have those days to sort of get better. And and Webby's real big on that. Is if you're going to be something good, do something good. You know, reward yourself with it. But then, if you have some shit, let it out in a way where you're like, oh fuck get it out so then you can move on and be um, present. So, um, yeah, the belief's there. I think it's uh, – I'm, I'm super excited with it, with the expectation with the country and stuff. I, I think you got to walk towards it instead of shy away from it. You walk been, with it. Yeah, I definitely feel like a, there's a sour taste there from last year. Eh? Um, we had no expectation last year of what we had created, but there's definitely, like, after that Broncos game, you know, it's still, like, you know, lights of fire in our belly and – you can just tell by the the way the boys train, and that's cool because it's an easy thing to do. Like fuck, we're like we're in the finals, you yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. And obviously that was a fucking rain game, <laughs> like was rain. shit that was going down. It was yeah, but yeah, I don't know. That's that's cool to hear. Yeah, it was one of those games. Eh? It was like we we scored first and we they scored like, two. I thought you were like, like, yeah, yeah, I was like, we oh, going to the GF. Yeah. <laughs> we're sitting on the bench, and I was like, shit, we're on, we're on, and then we're down by twenty. You know, oh fuck. <laughs> But one, um, one thing that does sort of tighten the squad up is obviously you talked about him with Roger and you looked at that Broncos side and mm, they could just sling early yeah, ball. Bro. And they've got guys that can do things, you mm, know what I mean? And yeah. um, no disrespect to the boys, but they, like they ain't Roger and you guys got Roger now. Yeah. So what's it like having him back? No, nah, like, yeah, like bro, you said. Some of the shit he does, man. Yeah. Like edge v edge stuff. Give him the ball and he's like bang, bang, bang. And you're just like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> he just trains hard, bro, oh, too. Like, bro. he trains so he's hard. Gym like, lad. Fuck you. He's mean as a flat stick trying to bench 100. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some GST bro, 120. The bro, <laughs> yeah. The bro's benching 140 and we're like, oh, yeah, two six reps. And he's so, doing <laughs> six reps. Like, fuck, bro. What the fuck? And probably the big thing is, bro, he doesn't have to be the guy anymore. Yeah, he can yeah, just be a yeah. part of the team. You know well, what I mean? That's what I think the, the, the recruitment did really well. They just got first graders and, like, they got a like, chance – like even though he was in reserve grade that year when they pulled him out, you just knew that he was a solid first grader that's going to get you 200 meters, mm. have about 50,000 supports. Say it. And you put him in a, a team where, you know, put him in a situation where he just has to worry about two or three things, like ball playing wise, or the yeah. rest he can just think, oh, support. And then you had Shawnee pulling the strings and, fuck, he had a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite, quite a year. Quite one. Quite one. And like, like the thing of Shawnee, because he's so smart and he's got yeah. a ball player like Chance who's, who, can, who can strip a three on two, but yeah. if Shawnee can give him a look when he's playing two on ones, yeah, yeah. you just That's push a block player yeah. a bit wider with the, yeah. the centre running. Yeah. Fuck. And just I think, walk him over, eh? Yeah, I think right. he just, he's, yeah, he simplified it heaps for Sean too last year, Webby. It was just not like simple where it was like, oh, hit-ups to here, but it was like everything we are doing was in the system where – he didn't have to worry about the middle because Bangers, you know, was sorting it out for him. And then on the edges, it was just basically 
get to the four man or get to the three man, and that was his job. And then, yeah, then he's adding all these other spices in. Then you know, the Sean comes out where he scores bloody a right foot off the Dolphins, <laughs> and then a show and go again. It's just that's those things come out. It's nostalgic. Yeah, it's it's, it's actually, crazy. Um, and yeah, yeah, the fucking pretty pretty good year, man. It's just his kicking game. Yeah, yeah after yeah, the trial last year against Storm, I was like, fuck. Get your kicking game. <laughs> I was like, what? And then, yeah, all of a sudden, he just, bro, he was just pinning him in the corner. Had it on yeah, the string. Yeah, yeah he just had it on the string. Just put him in the corner and then just let let the big boys do do the rest. <laughs> but, uh, the Battle of 5 8 an interesting one for you guys. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Got, bro, you got some, like, three depth. elite options. Yeah, you got some depth. The yeah. thing is, yeah, we don't know who it is, bro, because he's just chopping and changing. Like, Mike will be in, then next session, Luke will be in, yeah. Yeah, now. Yeah. And it's just like, we don't even know who it's going to be. Yeah. So, that's a good thing about like having a great system is yeah. like it's not the kind of dependent on mm, like, yeah. the one guy. Yeah. And obviously, um, like the pen front is like even when Knife goes out and like a Sean O'Sullivan or something yeah, yeah. plugs in and they still get dubs, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I, that's what I think Luke is. He's, he's going really well because <laughs> he's just more of the halfback style. Yeah. Where Mods, fuck, he's a gun. And I think he'd be, I don't know. Yeah, could me. could be first choice, um, but I think he just suits the six a lot better in in the system. Yeah, and then Lukey, if something happens like Sean, you don't have fucking me and Tamari <laughs> trying to foot battle it in the halves in the semi final getting dished up for forty. So, um, no, nah. <laughs> oh, that was rude as bro. Um, and then, but yeah, I think Luke's yeah he's coming into his own too. Where he's a little bit older, understanding of the game. Um, Put on some weight too. Yeah, like he's just. Yeah. What would he weigh? I think he's at eighty five. Oh, yeah. Bro, but he was skinny. But he's actually doing weights proper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throwing some tin around now, so yeah. eating a few bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a protein, um, but yeah, I don't know. Just since Sean hurt his ankle at training, I think um, he's sort of taken on that role a little bit better mm. as a half, and it's uh, a lot more dominant. And yeah. It's it should be exciting these next few trials, to be honest. Yeah, see what he goes in trials with Tigers next week. Tigers and then Dolphins. Dolphins here. Even their other center position has been a mad battle. Like, because Wets and Rocco, obviously, yeah. Rog, you'd think Rogers. Yeah, Rogers. Yeah, Rogers. Yeah, Rogers. Yeah, he's locked he, he, gets real, <laughs> he, gets, he gets real estate. That, other, up. He's that like, other one, that other center, bro, it's been Rock, Rocco, Wets, Wets and, and Ali. even Ali. Yeah, They've yeah just Ali's been a, battling. Yeah, they look guns, man. It's like, we don't even know who's going to get Rocco will have a day and then. Wets will come out and fucking give someone the right foot. And then Ali will just silk hands. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's Mm. exciting. Like, I think it's good headaches, but lucky I'm... It's a long season. Lucky we're on the bench, bro. (laughs) (laughs) Lucky we're on the bench, Jazz. (laughs) Andrew. Uh, like it is a long season though. Like you think of yeah, like suspensions, yeah. Yeah. or head knocks. Like you need you need a de- yeah. right, you need twenty three yeah, guys yeah. to rock up and do a job, man. And then yeah, a lot of the young guys like Zion, um, Dimitri when he comes back when he's fit, bro. He's he's a good footy player, like mm. in the middle, solid. And then Zion, Jacob, Jacob Laban, just a whole bunch of good little crop coming through, which is excited for the club. Yeah, mm. fucking know if it is. Um, I guess you talked about him a bit. I know how individually. Um, close you are to Adam and like obviously when I look at the Warriors to me everything starts with him mm. um, obviously this news of him leaving pretty sad for, for you guys what's that mean to you boys? Yeah I was pretty off it <laughs> <laughs> I caught him shaking around but what the fuck yeah I think Jazzy goes do you see the boat and I, go, and I looked it up and I was like fuck text him I go oh you all good bro and he goes yeah oh, I just let you know <laughs> I was like fuck don't go you fuck it <laughs> No, it was pretty. It was pretty sad news, but um, obviously family comes first. Yeah, always. Um, yeah, always. Yeah. When you see the yeah, when you hear the backstory behind it all, like it's obviously yeah, makes sense, and you know all the best. But it sort of gives us a chance this year to go out and do yeah, something. Do you special. know what I mean? Like, does it, yeah, the, yeah. The next question I was going to ask was, is like, fuck, are we looking around and go, fuck, is this us this year? Yeah, or yeah. Like that's the thing is like, and Shawnee too. We get yeah, yeah Shawnee too. We don't know what he's doing next year. Ed's obviously off. Like, this is the year if we want to make a yeah. move. Like, yeah, it's like now. So fuck. That's the way I look at it. I, people are like, oh, you know, every year. But if you were being fed income over the next two or three years, this would be the best yeah, shot. Yeah, I, yeah. Guess, I, yeah. Too. I think like if you're going to be real about. What do you actually think? I think this is the year that you'd have to say and go, yeah, fuck, this is a... F- <clears throat> uh, when you crack. guys hear yourself say that, does that get you excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. like some people will scare off, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. If we, don't, if we don't win now, it's like we're out, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah. No, it's been a fucking tough preseason. I just want to start putting. Yeah, <laughs> me, me and Jazz just been counting the days go away to Maldives well, for we a week. <laughs> week. Oh, <laughs> so tomorrow's our next last se- big session. So yeah. we go like proper game. You know, end of the week is always yeah. like a game, and then we have wrestle after, bro. And it's just like. <laughs> wrestle session, sucks, bro. Bro. Yeah, wrestle. I, love, I actually like oh, wrestle. You like wrestle? <laughs> but yeah, Jazz is probably, I'd say he's I've top three. He's top head. three. Yeah. Oh, Jazz. Oh, you good? He goes, all right. Nah. Get you down to CKB. I always yeah. try to tell him, I go, bro, you're fucking 27, 28. You're not 21 anymore. You don't need to prove anything. And he's out there just, <laughs> I actually, I actually you know when you just pumble out the stuff? We oh, we almost thought we lost Jazz for, Jazz for three months. But he, was, he, he, tore his, he reckons he tore his peck. Come out, pink bib next day. Left feet right. It was left feet. It was left feet right. Pink bib. (laughs) (laughs) Running the ball deep into the line too. Play out the back. (laughs) The king. The king of pink bib. Right here, guys. We're like, who the fuck's that? Is that Andrew Johns? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, nah, it's ice in the pink bib. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Obviously, yeah, let's just dive into the the Maori culture. Obviously, when you go to New Zealand, Mm. it gets grown up on it. What's what's it been like for you? You Maldi boy coming over here oh, yeah. to the Warriors, New Zealand Maldi. No, nah, I think it's um, as a cultural as what the club does. Um, I think it's pretty cool. You sort of understand it a little bit, uh, a little bit more. But I've always been one of those guys that's like, fuck, I feel like a <laughs> ratchet dude. Like I'm not, I don't feel because I never lived here, never grew up in uh, like a Maldi home, so I'd never felt like oh, I sort of belong. But when you get into those camps and stuff, it's pretty cool. Like. It's hard, it's hard to explain culture to like yeah. people who, who don't necessarily have it, you know what I mean? Um, like, and when you when you get into a place, even if you haven't grown up on it, mm. there's a feeling of of like you belong. You yeah, know? yeah. Well, the, yeah, because when I hopped into the first camp, I was walking around, I was like, shame that I didn't know a lot of stuff. And I was speaking to one of the, the club cultural advisors there, you know, all the guys, and he said, oh, no, we, we can learn from you. And he was talking about all this stuff, and I was like, fuck, you actually made me feel good now. I don't know anything, but it was like... Yeah, and they sort of gave me the hand on the uh, pat on the back, going, "Nah, bro, you're still moldy." I was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, sweet, chat, chat." <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, just having the kids around it, I reckon at schools they, you know, they're saying some words. They they sort of have a karakia for dinner. <laughs> they or when they they bless their food, and it's pretty cool. And I'm like, "What are they saying?" They're like, "Taru, father, tenu." I was like, "Yeah, god." Um, Any but it's been here. Yeah. Nah, no hackers yet. Get them in there. Yeah, yeah. What, what about you, bro? So, like, I look at um, the Warriors now and, and the Maori culture is really tied into it. And it's always kind of been there with the symbol. But I always felt like, and I used to always use this reference of Cool Runnings, <clears> where <throat> I always felt like the Warriors were the Jamaican side, but they were always trying to be like the Swiss side. Yeah. And when yeah. Kearney and that were coming in and they were trying to do like wrestle and yeah, play yeah. that style of football, now you guys are just playing your own style yeah. and they're tapping it back into the culture. I feel like you guys are so much better. Yeah, hard, bro. And I think. It's important that, you know, we pay respect, you know, first to the culture when, you know, guys come here, like even the Aussie boys. Mm. And it's cool that they're really buying in yeah. to, to the culture. And But I think, it, yeah, like I said, it's important because, you know, we are a Kiwi team. And in the style of footy that we're playing, um, you sort of see it. It resembles, you know, New Zealand and how we play back backyard footy. Mm. Um, even though now we're a lot more structured, you still get that. Shawnee's still getting out the back. Douche, waxing, <laughs> even get all the young boys when they come in and, and have a jam. Um, you can see their their flair and um, you know comes out of them. Mm. Um, who who's who's some of the next guys that are coming through that you want to? Obviously, I don't want to put pressure on them being like the older guys, but who's some who's some guys? Ali, Ali, yeah, I think how many games he played? One game last year, the uh, Croker's three hundred. Yep. Um, sort of got he had a choice. You know, had Braden Williami sort of was the first choice center. He was <laughs> come back from injury. Um, and then when he hopped in, bro, he was just, Gone. you know, when you just see people and they just get football. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of that. And he's got a bit of spunk about him too. So he's got that confidence. <laughs> he's got a yeah, yeah, skucks fella. He walks around like he's the man. So. Is he an Auckland dude? Huh? Yeah. Yep. Auckland guy? Yep. Yeah, he's yeah. Ali Lautiti's nephew. Yeah. 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 Bro, and he's got sense. the same. <laughs> yeah. He's got the yeah. same. Yeah. Same fucking hands, bro. Um, Zion. My yeah. Zion. Man. Raw. Another Samoan yeah. prop coming through. He reminds me of Ifata Palacino. Oh, Sort yeah. of runs the same. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Um, Dimitri. He's yeah, Demetrio. He, he's I reckon just done his ACL. he'll be the yeah he'll be the next. He's done his ACL this he's year. He's gonna be the next. Yeah, he could be the no, next. He did it last year. Oh, no, he's coming. He's back. like captain material type, like where you sort of yeah. walk behind him and go, yeah, fuck, he's hard come. And yeah. Jakey yeah. Laban is another sick row. Yeah, from Wally's. Wally's, yeah, Laban's Wally's boys, eh? Bro, even bro, even like Tane, I see the fullback. Yeah, you know, like you know, he's filled in. Tane to a picky. Did he um play in the trials last year? 
Um, yeah, against Tigers, he, he played yeah. a couple of games too. He played a couple of games. Oh, during the his year. first game was the Cowboys game, and then he played in a few others. Bro, he's a little gun too. Mm. Little freak. Yeah, little freak. Tens, yeah, he's a he's a gun. Um, I know there's a yeah, all those boys are the ones that I th- oh Lecker, Lecker yes yeah, yeah. just seventeen just a few bro time. he's playing cup yeah. seventeen scoring like they're putting bombs up in the corner and he's jumping over like yeah full grown man he's yeah, jump, seventeen yeah, he's running over full grown <laughs> he's just one of those guys they're, 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 all, all of them are raw yeah. like the Zion Jackie Laban and Lecker they're raw so once they get a bit of more around reps in the training and pre seasons it could be something pretty cool. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, fuck, um, they so run hard. <laughs> obviously, obviously, we're in a phase now where, like, sports and, like, business, or there's a lot more money coming into the game. How are you guys moving out, outside of rugby league? Because it used to just all be about rugby league. Are mm. you guys making any moves outside? Are you got any interest in business or Got things like interest? that? Uh, the interest? The interest for me? No, not much, but a uh, bit investing lately. Uh, the missus, she's a bit more switched on than I am in that space. She's yeah. fucking... She's... um. Got a little business. We're investing into a bit of development uh, properties. Um, <laughs> so hold this space, mate. I might have uh, something lined up for you later in the next few years. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, ah, the I don't know, man. That's the million dollar question at the moment. It's um, I know I've seen a few things on your your Instagram and stuff, and it sort of gets me going. I'm like, fuck, I'm fucking wasting my time here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But which is know, which is hard. Yeah, yeah, the weird thing is, once you leave football, you're like you don't realize how much time you have when you're yeah. in your own football. Yeah. You remember, like manly, like, yeah, day yeah. off coffee, fuck, coffee. Yeah. coffee, coffee. I'm still doing that. <laughs> <laughs> golf. golf, coffee, golf. fishing. Really golf, but that's what they do. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, yeah, it's what, just. What about you? But you're into your but, hunting and fishing. And yeah, stuff? hunting and fishing. Um, well, I love. Never catches anything. <laughs> Never catches anything. He's going to catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't claim to be a hunter. Tomorrow, Tomorrow reckons that we had... On. Look, story, story, back story. <laughs> he reckons we get to it, it's like a little bowl, bay area. And I'm walking in and goes, bro, there should be some deer around here, so be quiet. So yeah, sweet, walk around there. And I was like, fuck, no deer. And he goes, bro, you should have seen. The other day, there was at least 30. <laughs> <laughs> fucking eat us nah, bro, yeah I'm, I'm into i'm into that sort of stuff um me and mike's actually planning on coming out of our own hunting brand oh cool um, bro that's yeah, i was just about that's, to say that's something. in the works yeah, yeah me and me and mike's are actually starting to do something so um yeah keep your eyes keep keep, keep your eyes, keep your eyes you've, really, had some shockers, <laughs> mate. you've had some shockers today <laughs> i'll give you a little freebie there yeah. eh? nah. um, i'll be a silent partner so what's the fishing show that um Tio Pofarangi and that do? Do you know that one? Or get all the gear? Yeah, yeah. You, guys, you guys have just created a show. Like yeah, that, even eh, something cool. we're gonna do something. Um, Cam wanted to do something with me and Mides about um fishing. Eh? People could come fishing with us. Yep, take them out on a boat, and that's an experience they could pay for. Yes, yeah. a couple of mates or whatever. Oh, bro, it's cool to see people thinking like this. <clears> like, like I said, we were in that Penrith chat the other day, and I was just tossing up like different ideas. Yeah. for the boys, and like, cause cause rugby league so copy and paste, it's mm. like. They, they play that way, so that's working, so we do it. I think a lot of football ball players do that as well, so they'll order to see us. And, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Let's just yeah. make clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Realize how hard, how it, hard is. it actually is. Yeah. Like stuff like that, when you're yeah. actually passionate about it yeah. and you've got build businesses around it, especially mm. content, yeah. pretty interesting, bro. Well, yeah, if he's, you look at he's me content and king. Yeah, if you look at me and Midas followers. Oh, the Hello yeah. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that pays bills, mate. Yeah. yeah. Hello yeah. Fresh, shout out. Nah. <laughs> no, that is, that's pretty cool. Sorry, nah. bro, what was that? No, I was just saying, if you look at our following, like, if you look at our pages, that's what you'll see, like what we're about. We're into fishing. I'm into fishing, hunting and fishing, motorbikes, and yeah. footy. Like you got to try and build, hey, you got to try and build something around what you're about, not mm. trying to be about, you know, something. I've always had this like, little dream, but like start a little YouTube channel just of, just because I'm just a random, like I'm just a random, like I'll go, yeah, I'm scared. Of, <laughs> I'm scared. Of, up, I'll bro. just, I'll just, I'll go randomly go do like pick something and I'll go pick it up and I'm like, yeah, this is me. And then three months later, move on. I'm like, ah, oh, master, that's cool. Move on. <laughs> Next one was like gardening. Like your, yeah. um, my gardening. Came out gym shoes. Oh, that's, that'd be an easy way. Right, gardening. Yeah. I was like, fuck, man, that'd be pretty cool. Just randomly pick up something and just film it and just see how it goes. But I guess you. Say, what do you want to do on YouTube? Or fucking random stuff. Like, <laughs> or, well, like anything, when I start oh, gardening, like, like gardening, oh, well, I just plant it all well, my corn, gardener. carrot. <laughs> nah, I don't want it, but it's just random stuff. You know when you see like the random dad picking up and doing all the housework or whatever. Yeah, 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 I know, stuff I know what you're like that. About. Do you do gardening? Yeah, what the fuck. What do you well, mean? Why bro? Your missus made your lawns? Oh, <laughs> that wasn't my lawn. <laughs> all right, no, no backstory. No, no backstory on that lawn. No, because no, I was kids. Yeah. Anyway, while I was doing the gardening, it was my first ride on, getting the lines out and looking mad. And it was looking nice as fuck. Everyone comes down, they sees it. 
not my sister, her boyfriend, my partner. They're like, oh, can we ever turn fucking up all my lines? <laughs> doing figure eights around it. And I was like, oh, yeah, done. But yeah, I'm into random stuff like that. I'll go fishing and stuff, but. You could do like 12, I don't get you could do 12 episodes a year and you try one thing for a month. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well I, well, I tried fishing and then that was a fucking horrendous. Yeah, I, I don't get that. Like um, my oh, dad yeah. was a fisherman. I just don't get the fishing. No, it's cool because I took my sons, but they, well, hook got stuck in my son's arm. And the other one was like, Daddy, look, fish. <laughs> the one's going like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. But the hell, <laughs> this, bro, this, this was this the whole story. So we went out to Mission Bay. You know the Mission Bay, the wharf? Walked all the way out there, so you got to park it up and walk about 15 minutes. I get to the very end, just about to rig it up. Daddy, I need to do a shit poo. And I'm like, fuck. Can't ch- ch- put it off the side. So I was like, oh, let's walk back, walk back with fishing rods. Yeah, sweet. Gets there and he goes, yeah, I did it. Get all the way back another 15 minutes. And walk. Daddy, I need to do a poo. Okay, you're G'ing up. And he looked at me and goes, no, nah, I need to do a poo. It took him all the way back out there. I go, do a poo. And he goes, ha, just joking. <laughs> Oh, oh, sweet. <laughs> and then sweet so we walk back out there and I was like alright no one needs to do poo let's do it rig it up while I'm ringing up the f- uh, the second one the first one my boy was waving around here got caught on my son's arm and he goes like look daddy fish and the other was like ah! <laughs> just, I was like fuck we're going home yeah the same time after that oh, yeah. we're going home <laughs> come back my missus got we need to take my ho- uh, the hospital <laughs> Put some better right. than on eBay, right? <laughs> yeah, no. So I just read him stuff. I just randomly did. Those kids hate him, mate. <laughs> We're at the beach yeah, and yeah. he was telling one of them up, and then one of them goes, Dad, stop being a fucking jerk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I let my kids swear. Like, it's, they want to express themselves, you know? I'm not going to stop them. <laughs> well, fuck, that's mad. Right. Anyway, yarns, <laughs> yarns over. So, developing it, bro, I'm looking forward to seeing that hunting fishing stuff, bro. That'd be cool. Fucking, yeah, bro. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. Many dates on that or? Winter will be the one because we're coming out of jackets. Like, yep. you know, like the hunting and fishing fleeces. Yeah. That's just going to be our first sort of range, I guess. Much. Um, and yeah. So, yeah. Support the bro. Are going to do all the camo stuff and stuff as well? Or? Yeah, I'm not too, we haven't sussed any colors yet or anything. Yeah. Um, we're just getting all our favorite bits of pieces and we're going to try and go through a dynasty or another company to make it tailor it how we want it yeah and then obviously ship it off to china and make a fucking certain amount of pieces because it's half like i grew up in a bush town and everyone wears like that type yeah of stuff but well, some of it's cool bro, that's, what, that's what everyone wears i went hunting <laughs> I, went, I went hunting once and i've got gum boots i've got hiking shoes <laughs> bro, i come in for hunting and fishing and Adam yeah. is like what the fuck is that bro it's actually yeah i actually do, I, I like warm, it it's warm yeah, yeah, yeah i like it by the time we grew up in um there's heaps of forestry and, and like all the boys go like pink hunting and stuff mm. like that too so pretty familiar with the, before that yeah yeah, yeah 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 that's pretty cool all right boys uh, i'm gonna wrap it up there but um what's the goals for the season for me probably play some consistent footy try and stay healthy um is there anything else you can be doing outside or do you or do you feel like it's just luck i feel like my injuries were pretty unlucky but right. in oh, in pre-season bro i always get like a mad shape and then halfway through the season i'm just fucking <laughs> bad again. Oh. Well, so you... my one of my goals is keep my skinnies under 80 for the rest of the whole year nah, so <laughs> what, what he thought when he tore his pick when it was only a, a strain and he was in pick people left right the, the next day he reckons you know what it is because I haven't drunk him for <laughs> two weeks since well, Juicy Fest. Every, bro, so when I when I try, when I get off the piss, like, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, I was a hundred days sober. I had the worst injury I've ever fucking had. Every yeah. time I jump off the piss, something happens. So normally, normally put two and two together. Like normally, you're a grown yeah. man. You can pick and choose when you want. Yeah. Well, now I'm fucking. Now I've given up that fucking trying to be sober life. So yeah, yeah. it's just about being smart. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So stay consistent. Any other ones? Yeah. Um. I haven't really thought about it too deeply. Really, I just want to try and stay on the field, bro. And at the moment, everything else happens after that. Yeah, eh? yeah, exactly. Um, play for Samoa. Hopefully, at the end of the year, we have a test. I want. Hopefully, we play Tonga. So I feel like those. You want that game. beef? I just fucking. I reckon there's bigger games than fucking Origin and shit. Like the the beef is deeper, and that and yeah. Yeah. the way the two squads are going at the moment, like they should be playing that every year, bro. Yeah, got some squads there, at the moment. bro. Yeah, that's a 100%. fucking meme, yeah. It'd be pretty cool. Like, I don't know why they got rid of that Pacific test. Like now, how the squads are. Yeah, it'd be fuck, stronger. It's actually a big yeah. game, man. Oh fuck! What are you gonna do? Do that? What? Say that? <laughs> what? On the Pacific test? Yeah, I would play it. Oh, if I got picked. Yeah, oh yeah, you'd be you'd be first for me, mate. I don't know. Thanks, mate. No. Oh, well, what are your goals? My goals? Oh. No, I think create the movement that we we started last year. Inspire. You know, the younger kids coming through, make them enjoy wanting to be a warrior. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. What are your personal goals? Nah, fuck, I, I, fuck yeah, I was taking the 
not taking a piece, but I've been serious but semi serious. Oh, no, okay. but I just, man, I don't know. I used to be deep into thought about my goals, but now I just as long as I'm happy outside of it, that comes. That's okay. you know, be a good father, good partner, um, and then the footy comes second. Yeah. Nice. Last question: Can you guys win it all? Yep, fucking own. Good. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys. Just want to thank you for your time and jumping on. I appreciate you. It's uh, great to catch up with you guys again, and had a great time off in the Gold Coast. <laughs> Always remember that. Yeah. Um, so, boys, all the best for the season. Uh, hope it's a happy and healthy one. Cheers, Cheers us. Thank you. Shop